Welcome all in Contours Part 2. In this video, I will explain how hills, mountains, ridges and a cliff are drawn by contour lines in a topographical map. Hills and mountains Both are natural land formation that rise above the surrounding land. We know that mountains are typically taller than hills. They have steep slopes and a well-defined peak while hills tend to be rounded. Now the question is, how are these two features depicted on a topographical map? I have drawn two diagrams to show how hills and mountains are depicted on a topographical map. In the first diagram, you will see the contour is starting from 100, 150 and 200 is the highest point. This is a hill. But in the other one, you will see this is also starting from 100, going to 150, 200 till it reaches its peak that is 350 meter above the sea level. So from these two, you can easily identify in your topographical map that this is mountain with a peak whereas this is a hill. This is also clear with the help of the cross section of these two. Here you can see mountain is taller than a hill. A mountain has a peak and the both sides are cliff. In a topographical map, a cliff is shown like this. Here you will notice that contour lines are very close to each other and they merge at one point. This point you can see all the contour lines are merging. This indicate a cliff in our topographical maps. Cliffs are very steep and almost vertical rock overlying the sea. They merge all the contour lines, they merge to form a single line. This is what a cliff looks like in our real life. You can notice the rock is very steep, vertical and very high. Waterfalls are found generally in a cliff. Ridge A ridge is a long narrow mountain range. This is the picture of a ridge. It is a long narrow chain of hills. Now the question is what type of contour design depicts a ridge in our topographical map? In a topographical map, this type of contours are drawn to show a ridge. From this, it is clear that this rep represents one mountain, second mountain and third mountain. And one outside this, there is one contour line which shows that all these three mountains are interconnected. With the help of this cross section of contours, it is clear that three mountains are there and all three mountains are connected to each other. So this is the design which is used to show ridge in our topographical map. Hope you will be able to identify these relief features now in our topographical map. Don't miss out my next video contour part 3. I will cover few more physical features in that video. Thanks for watching.